Hi everyone, this is Robert with LifeWire and today I'm going to show you how to make an end portal in Minecraft. I'm also going to show you how to find and activate an end portal in survival mode, but first I'm going to show you how to make one in creative mode. You can't actually craft the end portal frame pieces, but you can add them to your inventory if you're playing in creative mode. So open up the inventory, go to search, type in end portal, and the end portal block will pop up drag it into your hotbar and you're also going to need some eyes of ender to activate the end portal so type in i and drag the eye of ender into your hotbar now it's very important that you lay out the frame pieces in the exact way you see here with three blocks on each side leaving an empty space in the corners so i've already got one going over here you can see i've made one side so the easiest way to do this is to stand in the middle and construct each side. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And another thing you have to pay attention to is that they're facing the right way. So you'll see that two of the sides have a few extra green pixels in the center. It can be a little hard to see, but it's important that they're facing toward the center of the portal. If one of the blocks isn't facing the right way, you can just break it, stand in the middle, and place it on the ground, and hopefully it'll be in the right spot. Then you're going to get out of the frame, equip your eye of enter, and use it on the frame pieces to activate it. Once you place the last eye of ender, the portal will open, and you're ready to face off against the ender dragon. Next, I'm going to show you how to find and activate an end portal in survival mode. To find an end portal, you're going to need some Eyes of Ender, and you're also going to need Eyes of Ender to activate the portal once you find it, so making some should be your very first step. To make an Eye of Ender, you're going to need an Ender Pearl, which you can get from defeating Endermen, or you can trade them in the village for Emeralds, and you're also going to need some Blaze Powder. To make Blaze Powder, use a Blaze Rod, just put it in the regular crafting grid, you make two at a time. You're going to need at least 12, but go ahead and make as many as you can. And now you make your Eye of Ender. To do that, put your Ender Pearl in the middle of the crafting grid and put Blaze Powder in the first box of the middle row, and that gives you an Eye of Ender. Again, you're going to need at least 12, but go ahead and make as many as you can because you might break a few along the way. Now, equip your Eye of Ender look up and use it and you'll see that it flies up into the air and sometimes when you do that it will explode which is why i bought a few extra but you're going to just keep throwing them and keep going in the direction they land and usually they'll just fall to the ground and you can catch them but just keep throwing them and keep going towards the direction they land and eventually they're going to start landing in the same direction and that's when you know that you found an enemy stronghold. What do you know? Here's one right here. So once you're inside, you still have to find the portal. And it's going to be near the entrance. There's this winding staircase right here. If you start going in one direction and you don't find it, you should retrace your steps. You're also going to want to bring some torches. We have a tutorial in LifeWire on how to do that to light your way. And once you find the room, you're going to go up the staircase and you're going to activate the portal by adding eyes of ender you see some of them will already have eyes and once you place the last one you're going to activate it go inside and you're ready to fight the ender dragon thanks for watching this has been robert with lifewire stay tuned for more minecraft tips and tutorials